Miranda was always seen as being the boring one, nerdy one, and the one that no one wanted to have a threesome with. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about on Kyla's reading day. Today on Kyla's reading day, we are talking about the book, We Should All Be Mirandas. The authors of the book are Chelsea Fairless and Lauren Garoni. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is hobbies, self-development, humor. So this book, this is my girl. <laughs> For one, Miranda was the only lawyer, the only female lawyer, the group of the four in Sex in the City. Also, Miranda was so cool. She had a really big character arc in the show as well. So listen, there are so many great quotes in this book. Let me just tell you a couple of the chapters, okay? So first of all, there's subjects like, are you a Miranda, love like a Miranda, thrive like a Miranda, right? And so whether or not you've seen the show, you can pick this up and be like, am I a Miranda? I'm not quite sure. Let's take a look and see, right? So me and my good friend from college discovered this show in the fifth season. We went to the library, we got the DVD, and we started watching it. And I was like, okay, this is pretty good. So I come into the show, I'm cheering for Miranda and Steve, I'm rooting for them. And then I'm like, oh my God, look at the romantic story. She proposed this to him to get married. Oh, beautiful. I don't know the background. Girl, you need to know the background. So then we started to get the prior seasons. And then of course I own the box set. Where's that? So I definitely have it. It's so worn, you can barely see the sex in the city, right? You can definitely see the raised city here, but DVDs, where am I gonna play these? <laughs> I don't know where, but it was important to me that I own the entire series. <laughs> So as I'm watching the show, I'm starting to really get into it, really enjoy the characters, right? It took at least three watches for me to even realize fashion was a big deal. So when I discovered the Instagram page, every outfit on Sex in the City, I was like, the outfits were a big deal? Let me take a look, right? And so then I was like, oh my God, it's great. Well, the creators of that page enjoy the Sex and the City show so much that they started talking about Miranda and then they actually wrote this book. So this is one quote that I chose from the book. This says, committing to someone does not mean appropriating all of their interests, values, and behaviors as your own. So that is really important to me because I am coming up on my third wedding anniversary and let me tell you, even before we were married and we were just dating, it was really hard for me to understand that my husband's interest did not have to be my own and that my interest did not have to be my husband's. And you know, every couple will tell you something different, but to me, I'm sitting here watching TV with you because I wanna spend time with you. And when I wanna watch a movie, you get up and do something else and that's not fair. So I talked to my mom about it, who had been married for 40 years, and she's like, I don't do everything your dad wants to do. He doesn't do everything I wanna do. And I'm like, okay, well, but, well when did y'all start doing that? And she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you have some interests, let them be your interests. He doesn't have to have all of them as long as he either appreciates them or respects them and you don't have to do the same thing. Yeah, 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 but I sit here and watch the movie with him. Why can't he watch it with me? And she's like, get up. Loving someone does not mean appropriating all of their interests, values, and behaviors, okay? And so when I read this, it made me really happy because if you don't have a mom who's been married for 40 years who could give you that kind of advice, I hope you picked it up when you read the book. So would I reread the book? Yes. There are so many things that you can pick up in it, right? The section on how to work like a Miranda, so that if you're having an issue or a concern, just flip to that section, read about that section, right? You wouldn't necessarily have to read the entire book again, just use it as a life guide. So yeah, that was today's review of the book, We Should All Be Mirandas. Really interesting book, really funny. And even if you haven't seen the show, the book references so many things from the show that you'll be able to like, follow along and make sense of it, but it'll probably make you want to go watch it. And trust me, every season is out there for you to watch. <laughs> Whether you want to get it from the library, buy a box set like me, <laughs> or stream it online, there are plenty of ways for you to catch up with Sex and the City, find out who Miranda is, and understand why I appreciated this book, okay? 
So thanks for hanging out with me today on Kyla's Reading Day. Let me know, have you watched the show Sex in the City? Are you watching the new series and just like that? Or have you been avoiding all of it? Because I definitely know people who have not seen any of it, never want to see any of it, to each their own. <laughs> so until next time, I will see you later on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.